Hi everyone, today is uh, December 25th, 2009, and uh, I wish uh, a Merry Christmas to uh, anyone celebrating uh, Christmas. And um, this will be a video just to demonstrate the difference of behaviors uh, between a uh, low turn coil here, which is the primary of a microwave oven transformer. So there's a heavy gauge wire with not so many turns. And this other coil here, that is a uh, high turn uh, or high voltage if you want uh, coil, which is a finer wire and it has many, many turns. There's probably about, um, well, I'm sure at least 1,200 turns on that uh, coil there. So that's it, but it's a thinner wire, so therefore there is more resistance. And um, I never played with uh, resonance uh, in uh, generators, and this is what this video will demonstrate here, is uh, the low uh, amount of turn coil is uh, not capable of resonating because of the low frequency that I have. Actually, I have a high frequency uh, co for compared to most generators. Uh, I'm achieving about uh, 460 hertz, uh, which is high uh, compared to probably most of the generators, I believe. Um, and at that frequency, if I add the correct capacitance, I can get the high uh, winding coil to start to resonate. And uh, though this uh, other coil here that gives a lot of current is not capable of resonating uh, at all at that frequency, that coil there would probably resonate at frequencies in the very high kilohertz or high kilohertz anyways, uh, probably at 100 uh, kilohertz, if not uh, 200 kilohertz to get that one to resonate. But this one, in because of the amount of turns, uh, I'm capable of getting to resonate uh, very easily. And it's very interesting, the, uh, the results. Uh, I'm not claiming anything here. There's no overunity. But it's interesting to see that this coil here, the high winding coil, uh, you, I'm capable of getting more energy out of it than this uh, other coil here with the low windings. The, or with a low amount of turns. So that's what I mean when I say high winding and low winding is, you know, the amount of turns. And that's uh, interesting to me. So I'll show you the results. I'll start this up. So the... Okay, the uh, motor is operating and I believe is close to uh, full operating temperature. So we're drawing uh, about 830 milliamps at about 92 volts without a load and here I have a light bulb this is just for entertainment we're not going to really do too much uh, real true calculations here um, here is my terminal coming from the coil and I have my probe of my scope attached and my uh, amp meter and this is one side of the bulb the other side here is going to this side here, which I have a capacitance, 0.43 microfarad. There's the other side of my scope probe and the other side of my meter. And what we'll do, this bulb here is a 120 volt uh, bulb at 40 watts rated. So at 120 volts RMS AC, there would be 40 watts dissipated in this bulb here. So right now I'll connect the uh, coil to show you what the coil does on its own without creating a resonating uh, circuit situation. So that's what the coil itself, the high voltage coil, can do on that bulb. All right. And our current hardly has gone up. Uh, obviously, it's hardly changed. We have about 20, uh, 28 volts there. Uh, 28 uh, milliamps and we have a total of 22 volts uh, across our light bulb there and I have my scope shot here and we have a nice uh, waveform there 
and there is the uh, data there on it. So we're around 460 uh, hertz and 21.88 uh, volts RMS. So all I'll do now is I'll connect the uh, connection here on the other side of this capacitor here which will create an LC circuit and it'll make that coil resonate. And we are connected now. Now this is not free energy. Don't get excited here. That bulb has now 108.5 volts RMS across it. And uh, I can't show you the scope shot yet. Um, now we are dealing with utilizing more current. So we now have about 90 volts, okay? And um, utilizing, we're at one point nearly two amps there, all right? So that's, you know, a lot more power. So it's not free energy, but what is interesting, I find, is um, that coil on its own cannot give that kind of energy output. But as soon as you create a resonating situation, that coil is outputting, okay? Obviously here we have at least 30 watts, maybe, maybe closer to 35 watts, because at 120 volts we have 40 watts, and we're at 108 volts already. So if we do the math, we'll find that the coil is pretty well 100% efficient uh, in this uh, configuration. So we're not utilizing more power from the motor than what we are uh, getting out. So if we do the math, we'll find that this bulb, uh, the amount of current that's added to the motor is exactly the amount of current that is being uh, utilized here. And what's interesting is there's no way, obviously, you, could, you saw that that coil could give out that kind of power. And uh, here is the uh, scope shot here, very beautiful uh, sine wave happening there. And there is the data as well. So obviously the scope is also saying that it's 108 volts uh, happening there, RMS. So um, I can't do that with the low turn uh, coil that has the high gauge wire. I cannot get it to resonate. I can't get, get it to even get close to lighting a bulb. So uh, the best I can do with the coil, uh, I'll show you. Um, now let's take our data reading here. Let's disconnect that. Okay. And disconnected, I'm around uh, 830 uh, milliamps being used by the motor there. Okay. And connected. We're at just under 1,200, so, okay, we'll do the calculations right now while we have this. So we'll say uh, 1,195. So there is the uh, score uh, calculated. Uh, we're drawing an extra 365 milliamps when I connect that uh, bulb with the resonating uh, capacitor and we're at 90 volts when that's connected so we're drawing about 32 let's call it 33 watts and if you consider that bulb uh, at 108 volts uh, obviously we are also at about 33 uh, watts there uh, no over unity, no nothing like that, uh, but it is interesting to be able to pull so much power out of that coil uh, compared to the other coil which is known to give you high current, but it's interesting what you can do with a high winding coil, and that's all I wanted to share here. What I'll do now is I'll connect the, uh, the other coil, the low turn coil, to that resistor and we'll see the amount of power we can get out of that at the same frequency. Okay, the low uh, turn coil is now connected to this 10 ohm resistor and uh, there is the data. It's drawing about 30 milliamps and there is the voltage, 3.36 or 3.37 volts and at 3.7 volts uh, 
at 10 ohms is 5.43 uh, watts there. So that's all for today and uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.